we've been covering this lunatic way too much, but this one is too good to let it slip by. Fundamentalist TV host Gordon Klingenschmidt is going to go after the Disney Channel and listen to some of his charges. And this is as insane as it usually is. If you're a Christian or a moral-minded parent who wants to teach your children that homosexuality is aberrant and wrong behavior, for example, you don't want to model sinful relationships as normative to your kids, your morality and faith, your child's innocence are now being undermined by the Disney Corporation. And that's why we're inviting you to participate in a boycott of the Disney Channel. If you're going to take that, you don't have to sign anything, you don't have to go to anywhere, but I do encourage you to call the Disney Channel. And here's their phone number, 818-460-7477, and hit extension 4. Again, if you're going to boycott or you're going to at least send a message to the Disney Corporation, stop recruiting our children into an aberrant lifestyle, call them today at 818-460-7477, extension 4. Or you can send an email to them at support at disneyonline.com. Again, that's support at disneyonline.com. And send a message that as Christian parents, we are not going to tolerate that kind of program which is targeting our children. In fact, if I were a parent with that channel in my home, I would cancel and call my cable subscriber and tell them to yank the Disney Channel out of my house because I don't want my children seeing that. I'm encouraging you to remember the Bible. Of course, we, we can take a moment to discern the spirits here, but I do discern a spirit of innocence inside of some Christian parents who want to keep that filth out of your child's mind. It says in Job 27, I will maintain my innocence and never let go of it. My conscience will not reproach me as long as I live. And don't you want to have that blessing for your children, that their conscience will not be assaulted, their innocence will not be violated by these corporations who want to push a gay agenda upon your families? Jesus said something even more strong than that. Jesus said in Luke chapter 17, and I believe these tempters now at the Disney Corporation are being influenced by demonic spirits who want to recruit your children into sin. And Jesus says very strong words in Luke 17 against those kind of people. It would be better for them if they had a millstone hung around their necks and they'd be thrown in the depths of the sea than it would be for them to cause even one of these little children to stumble. God bless the children, not, not just the ones who are actors in this show, whose innocence is being violated, but also your children at home who may be having access to this kind of programming. This guy's got serious mental issues, man. So first of all, he's talking about this one show on the Disney Channel which had briefly a gay couple make an appearance. That's it. That's it. And it wasn't anything inappropriate. They weren't making out on screen or doing cunnilingus on each other. No, 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 no. Just a brief appearance of a perfectly lovely gay couple. They weren't pushing any message or anything. Just regular people on a regular show, okay? He's flipping out over that. He's flipping out over that. So they're boy they want to boycott the Disney Channel. You know who conservatives boycotted the other week? The Girl Scouts. Because they pretended like the Girl Scouts came out in favor of abortion. Now, did they do that? Of course not. What they did is they tweeted out a link to two separate articles. One was the seven most iconic women of 2013, and the other was like the 20 most powerful women of 2013 from two different places. One of the lists had Wendy Davis on it. Wendy Davis, of course, did the filibuster to protect reproductive rights. But there were also right-wing women on, on some lists, and there were, you know, apolitical people. They didn't endorse or not endorse any ideology or any person or anything. They're just sending out the articles because it's the Girl Scouts, and they want them to think, oh, I have a bright future. I could be like any one of these women if I want to, right? They pretended like the Girl Scouts came out in favor of abortion and performed abortions and said, but we're not going to buy any more Girl Scout cookies. The Girl Scouts were so caught off guard, they're like, wait, what? Why? You're in favor of abortion. They had to release a statement where they're like, just to be clear, we didn't say we're in favor of anything. God, these conservatives are so ridiculous. So they're boycotting the Disney Channel and Girl Scouts. What, what do you want to boycott next, please? By all means, boycott everything that's like benign. Are you kidding me? Now, next they're just going to boycott the idea of fun. Or they're going to boycott happiness. We're against happiness. We would like to boycott that from now on. We'd like you to join us in that. Pretty sure a lot of your listeners are already there, if they're taking what you say seriously. And uh, th he's also 
very heavily implying that gay characters on the show will turn the kids gay. In fact, he's just flat out saying that. Like, oh, we don't want to have these kids there, this, uh, you know, the gay couple there because it's promoting this lifestyle. So he's afraid that, you know, little Denny is going to want to suck some dick after seeing a gay couple for 17 seconds on screen. How how stupid are these people? How stupid is Gordon Klingenschmidt? That's a that's a genuinely dumb belief. It's just dumb. Look, if you're straight and you see a gay couple, you think, "Oh, there's a gay couple." That's it. That's I never once as a straight male saw a gay couple and went, "You know, starting to think some cock would be delicious right now." But that shows you about what goes on, si on inside a Gordon Klingenschmidt's head. Maybe it is a temptation for him because he's got certain feelings, but I'll, I digress from that. And then uh, finally, the, most, the worst parts, there are demonic spirits at Disney. You, can you make a case for that? Didn't Disney do child labor? They still do child labor, and it, like they have some bad practices. Okay, but he's not even talking about that. That shows you. It's not even like, hey, man, let's get our shit together or stop like enslaving kids. No, uh, they have demonic spirits because they had a gay couple on TV for six seconds, whatever. And also, the, he actually talks about how, oh, you should throw some around their neck, throw them in the ocean. You should kill people at the Disney Channel for what they did. And he quotes Jesus. He said, Jesus said that. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Jesus never said a word about homosexuality. The only things in the Bible about homosexuality in Leviticus. Okay? So he doesn't know what he's talking about, and it's dangerous, and it's weird, and it's creepy. And thankfully, only six people listen to his show.